Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I am Taiki and I'm passionate about helping vegans persuade non-vegans to go vegan. So in today's video, I want to talk about whether or not you should get rid of the genuine leather products that you own after going vegan. So to start with myself, I went vegan, 100% vegan from April this year. I know I said like I went vegan around January in my previous videos, but I wasn't really vegan, I was pescatarian. So I wanted to clarify that I'm completely vegan right now. I don't consume any animal products. I don't buy shampoos that are tested on animals. I don't consume dairy, eggs, or any sauce that contains animal, like fish, for instance. That's common in Japan, but there is a natto that I found actually didn't contain any fish sauce, which is awesome. So I still have some leather products, genuine leather products. And here's why. So, if you're to sell the genuine leather products to someone else, that means you're promoting the leather products. Genuine leather products is okay to wear. That's why I don't sell them. As simple as that. And I don't get rid of them because that's a symbol of that I was once a non vegan. So, unlike people like Billie Eilish or someone whose family was vegetarian, never consumed any meat the whole life entire life. I came from non-vegan, non-vegetarian family. I loved eating meat. I loved red meat. I loved grilled barbecuing before. I think it applies to almost everyone that watching this video. When you ever try to persuade non-vegans to go vegan, sometimes we will just lose temper because look at those situations. If you're paying the animal products, then you're supporting animal cruelty. That's what we really feel. And some people would just tell them. And I think a lot of people do that. But what do non-vegans react? They would just say like, these are my rights. I just eat and I, I don't care about animals. I don't care about climate change. That happens quite often because you're trying to pick a fight with non-vegans from the start. It's like, well, you shouldn't, you shouldn't, you shouldn't. I mean, that's a great, great way I approach to some people because some people are like animal lovers. If I like my dog, then why should I discriminate cows, pigs, and chickens? They're all animals. They're all, all like us, humans, are animals too. For those people, that's effective, but not for everyone. Someone like Isaac Butterfield doesn't care. He said that he watched Dominion, but he just still makes fun of vegans. So you have to think about the different approach. And I talked about that in my previous video, so you can check that out. What I'm trying to say here is, I feel, I understand how non-vegans feel. When I discovered veganism, I was like, how would you live without meat? Or how would you, or fish, or eggs, or milk? That's impossible. That's how I felt. And I'm pretty sure like some of you felt that way too. So I understand how hard it is to transition to a new, life and like i said everybody hates changes we just want to be the same because that increases the chances of surviving that's human nature so i keep those leather jackets or leather patch on my jeans i'll show you so here leather jacket on my jeans i keep them to remind myself that i was once a non-vegan but one thing to be careful though is that if you wear leather jackets or fur coats at a animal rights movement and people were just gonna look at them it's like oh that dude or that girl is wearing a fur coat and just saying that killing animals is bad that's nonsense so that's something to be careful if you're on um, animal movement i don't involve in too much animal movement anymore because i don't really like the crowds i'm really sensitive so but if you ever go on the street with a sign and free the animals then you should wear some sweaters or like cruelty free products always so for me personally just keep the leather products but don't wear it on animal movements thank you so much for watching if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next one until next time